Okay, I've uh, already described the rules to you, but we're just gonna play a couple rounds so that you can see what it looks like when you're playing, okay? This is my husband, Wayne. He's gonna be my uh, opponent in today's game. All right, so as you can see, we have, he has a set of each of the alphabet letters and two sets of the vowels, and I have the same. We have our dry erase markers, our dry erase magnet board, our dice, each of us have a die, and our timer. Okay, so you can use the timer or you can skip it. Just for this demonstration, I'm gonna skip using the timer. So I'm gonna let my husband go first and create a word that he's gonna keep from me until he's done with it. <laughs> but I'll have him go ahead and leave it down so that you can see. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna put it on the white magnet board when he has decided what word he's making. Okay, so now he gets to, I have to roll my dice to see what I've got to do with the word that he created. And it's a number two. And remember on our rules, that means that I have to draw a picture of the word. So he's going to show me the word. And I have to draw a picture of it. So to do that, I have to read it first. And he made the word dog. So I have to draw a picture of a dog. And there's my picture of a dog. So since I did that, I'm going to give myself two points. I just went ahead and made a scorecard, Wayne and Lisa. So I got two points and now it's my turn. I'm gonna erase my dog and give him back his letters. Now I get to make a word for him. Hmm, and you can make the words simple or you can make them trickier if you want to. So I'm gonna make my word for him just a little trickier than his. I made mine a four letter word instead of a three letter word. And let's see, uh, go ahead and roll your dice. And he rolled a six and that means, if you'll remember from our directions, a six means he has to use one of his letters to change one of the consonants to make a new word. So he has to uh, change one of the blue letters, either a G or an M to make a new word. And he's doing this for six points because he rolled a six. Mm -hmm. Okay, show it to us. And you have to tell us what word you made. The word is came. Okay, so he did it. So he gets to give himself six points in his column. That's pretty good. Okay, his turn to make me a word next. He has to give me back my word letters. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was the first? G. G. Yeah. Okay. 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 And he has to make me a word. Now, depending on um, what grade you're in and what kinds of words you're working on. So if your teacher lets you know that, uh, lets you and your parents know that you're working on short vowel sounds, then you could use short vowel words. If you're working on words with a silent E, you could uh, use letters or words with a silent E. Is that what you want? No, you can oh. just make whatever. I was just explaining to right. them that they can change, okay. change the game to match whatever they're working on in school. You could even make really, really long words if you wanted to, depending on what kinds of words you're working on mm -hmm. at school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna roll my dice to see which challenge I have to do. And I got a one, which is that I just have to read the word, but it only gets me one point, darn it. But I can read that word, that word is were. So I get to have, give myself one point. All right. And I get to give him his letters back and I'm gonna make another word. He's gonna get his dice ready. Mm. Let's see. Okay, roll your dice. And he six gets again. a six again, lucky. What word is it? Wave. Is he right? Yep, he is right. And what does he have to do if it's a six? Or a, yeah, he has to change one of the blue letters. Okay, change one of the blue, okay. To make a new word. Just a consonant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just one consonant. Okay, we're gonna change the first one to gay. Okay, and he succeeded. Is gave a word? It sure is. I gave someone half of my cookie. So he gets six points. He's beating me. So you get an idea of how it's played. If um, if he had rolled uh, if he had rolled a different uh, five, he would have had to change one of the red letters, one of the vowels. So he could have changed an A to an I and made it give, and he would have gotten five points. So that's a little demonstration of how to play the game. I hope you have a lot of fun uh, with you and your family and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay.